If you need FIFA 17 coins, go and check out IGSky.com. Their link will be down in the description. Use code CAPGUN to get yourself a discount. You're right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and welcome to an extra bonus video that I wasn't actually planning to make this weekend but I thought, you know what, why not share this really cool experience with you guys. So last weekend I had my first real crack at foot champions. I managed to complete all 40 games and I did pretty well. I'm really happy with how I did. I managed to get into Elite 3 just, I got 30 wins out of the 40, which means that we do have some special packs to open. First ever pack for me that is a premium, or is it, is it just, I don't know, it's like a, a three informed pack. So we'll get three informs for sure. We've also got a 100k pack. We'll open those in a second, but I want to go through and give you guys some tips if you're trying out foot champions and you're, you know, basically want to improve your gameplay and get better at it. I'm not saying that I'm the best in the world, there's obviously way better out there than me. 10 losses in that, I probably could have avoided a couple of them and maybe got into the top 100, but to be honest, I'm very happy with how I did. Um, so this is the team I used, it is a Serie A squad, bar over Mars at left wing. Now a lot of you will be like, Tom, that's totally unaffordable, I can't afford that team. I think the majority of people probably could just about afford this team, maybe I'm being a little bit over the top, but there are a few players that I can suggest that will make this more affordable. So Omar's totally unaffordable, you can easily play like a left wing from Serie A there, you can put Mertens in there, he's really good, use him. Obviously inform Dybala, I'd recommend that you do buy yourself a Dybala, if you're going to make one expensive purchase in this team, it would just be the regular Dybala. Um, he's just as good, I would say, maybe just a little bit better, obviously, the inform, but um, overall, Dybala is a fantastic player and definitely would recommend him. And he's your key player in this squad um, because he is your striker and you've only got one of them, so you really need him to perform. So definitely would recommend him. People have said Bakker is also very good, so maybe try him out if you need sort of like a budget alternative. Obviously, you can use the normal Florenzi, and then past that, you're only looking at maybe like 40k for the rest of the squad, for maybe 50k. Perrin is insane. Don't be, you know, getting ahead of yourself and thinking, I need Handanovic because he's higher rated, or I need Buffon. Perrin is unbelievable, believe me. He has made so many clutch saves for me. In fact, I've been using Handanovic and I don't like him as much as I like Perrin. Perrin is just a god, so highly would recommend him. Um, so this is the team. Obviously, this week's foot, uh, foot champions is not going to be eligible, I think, for this, this sort of, like, team. But I think one in every two foot champions will actually be sort of, like, an open one, so you can use whatever squad you want. So definitely would recommend this team. It's a 4-3-3-4. Now, a little tip. This is a little tip that I would give you. Play high pressure, because high pressure really helps when you play the game. All you have to do is press down on the D-pad twice, and that will bring it into high pressure, sort of, like, tactics would recommend that and then don't play part of the bus it's such a stupid back way or backwards way of playing ultimate team it just in my opinion it just doesn't work everyone i played who went on to part of the bus ultra defensive i ended up beating because i just passed it there was so much space in between that sort of like the midfield and the defense that i just played it around in that space with my three really really good midfielders and I ended up beating them like generally part of the bus was not an issue for me so That'll be a little tip for you there. And finally, my biggest tip. This is a really good one. So, we all know that if you put stat cards on your players, they're going to play a hell of a lot better. Like a hell of a lot better. But the problem with that is that it's really expensive to continually play or put a stat card on even one of your players every game, let alone all 11. So, my advice would be to have like a clutch player. Now, my clutch player is Jonas. As you can see, he's on the bench. He's the squad builder challenge one. He is an out and out striker. He is born to get goals. He, he comes onto the pitch to score. And he did score a lot of goals from me from the bench. And subs are so important this year. I would highly recommend you have a good backup line. My subs were Jonas, Sun, and Serling. They were the ones that came on and just wreaked havoc every game. So what I did was I put a stat card on Jonas. And Jonas would only come onto the pitch if I was struggling. If I was cruising, I wouldn't bring him in, bring him on. Because the stat card wouldn't come off him if he didn't play. So that's a good little cheat tactic to save you some coins and to have a really high boosted card. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about right now. So if I go to apply consumable, if I put the training card, and I don't put the gold ones on there because they're ridiculously expensive, put the silver ones on there, you've got all the coaches, you're looking at plus nine on all of his stats. Now look at this card, 85 pace, 98 shooting, 94 passing, 98 dribbling, and 81 physical. That is a very, very strong card when you bring it onto the pitch as a super sub. You know, he guns through your opponent's defense. I mean, I would love him to be a little bit faster, but generally with 98 shooting and the five star weak foot as well, 
he, he does more than enough. So you still find yourself a little player, a little gem that you're going to be able to bring on. Put a stack card on and only bring him on if you really need him. So that is my top tip for that because that is a really, really good one because he came on and scored so many goals for me. Anyway, those are my tips for how you can do better in the foot champions. If you have any other sort of like good little tips, then let me know down in the comments section. What we're going to do now is open those packs. Right, so I'm super excited because I've never had a chance to open one of these Team of the Week player packs. It's guaranteed Team of the Week players. There's a hazard in there. There's screen cards, which are all going for like 70k. So if we get any screen cards, that will be considered a win. If we get the really bad informed, I will not consider that a win. That will not be a win. Anyway, let's open the Jumbo Rare Players pack. Let's open the first one. If we got something good here to start us off, we will be laughing. Big flares. Is it a walkout? It's not a walkout. Oh, Xavi Alonso. Oh, my lord. As if Xavi Alonso is my best player. He has 33 pace. You're saying that I played 40 games for a Xavi Alonso. Oh, that is depressing. That is... Oh, we got Harry Kane. Okay. Okay, I take it back just a little bit. We got Harry Kane, who should sell for like 20, 30k. Mustafi. He's alright. And then it all goes very... It goes downhill very, 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 very quickly. I mean, we've got some we've got some other players there, but what am I going to do with them? What am I going to do with them? Anyway, let's store them and get the other pack open. The whole video is basically hinging on this one pack now to actually pull something good. Otherwise, I'm going to be so upset. Please, Lord, be something good. Right, we're going to get a big player, of course. Who is it going to be? No, not Donnarumma. I've already got him. I've already got Donnarumma. Okay, please, fingers crossed for a screen card. Please, please, please. Although, having said that, I'm actually going to try him out because he might be better than Perry. We just don't know. But anyway, oh, that is a bad pack. That is a very, very bad pack. Oh, there's not even a screen card in there. Not even one screen card. We got Grimaldo from Benfica and we got Kalinic. From Fiorentina. He doesn't even have four star skill moves, bro. He doesn't even have. Okay. So there we go. Is it worth playing foot champions? Only if you get in the top 100, I think. Only if you get in the top 100. Because I got these packs. I probably got, what? Those, those, those are going to be discard, aren't they? They're going to be like 10k each. And that will probably be about 30k or something. So we're talking like 50k from that pack. Maybe 50k from the other pack. And then 70k. So I've got 170k for 40 games. Was it worth? I can't decide. Let me know what you think down in the comments section, guys. Um, let me know if you've seen any other unbelievable uh, packs from the foot champs. And yeah, if you're new, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace.